Hello, welcome to the channel. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you how I drew this dog's ear in colour pencil. Beginning with the cold grey one, I'm just laying down the base layers. So starting from light to dark, just getting some pigment down on the paper so that I can build up the layers later on with the darker colours. And now going in slightly darker with the cold grey three, just mapping out the darkest areas that I can see in the reference photo. Going in the direction of the fur, just a little bit so it's not too scribbly, which is difficult to cover up later. And going in with the cold grey five now. So you can see this is now layer three and it creates much more pigment down on the paper and it gives it much more depth to those darkest tones. And going in with some blue, really to bring out the shine of the fur. This is bluish turquoise in the polychromos. And mapping out again the darkest parts I can see in the reference photo. And I've chosen Payne's Grey for this one because it has a bluish undertone, which is great for the cold undertones of this shiny fur. And again, you can see I'm just mapping out the direction of the fur and darkening the darkest tones some more. going in with a based colour of the cold grey 2 in the areas of shine. Again the Payne's grey, darkening up some more, adding those layers. And again mapping out the fur direction. So I'm not pressing too hard, I'm, I'm Pressing quite lightly with these pencils so I can build up the layers slowly. If you push down too hard too quickly you end up burnishing and flattening the tooth of the paper so then you're unable to add more layers later on. So using a very light hand, darkening the darkest tones some more. Again, I'm going over with a Caran d'Ache wax based pencil in a blue colour just to add more depth to the black. Now filling in the orange tones that I can see on the reference photo. And building up the layers again. Building up slowly to get rid of that grainy look without pushing too hard. Dash pencils are great for this, just building up the layers and in with the Payne's Grey again in the polychromos. And adding some first strokes, just integrating those colours together. Always looking at my reference photo. And I've noticed in even the darkest parts there are darker areas and lighter areas. So I'm mapping that, those out now. It's only at this point that I've gone in with the actual black Faber Castell polychromos. Not until the sixth or seventh layer. And now moving on to the lower part of the ear. Again, laying down those base layers in the cold grey one. Going over the whole of that area that I'll be building up the tones to create that base layer and again following the same patterns so again in with the cold grey 2 and mapping out the darker tones and leaving the lighter tones with just one layer for now and going in with the Payne's grey again mapping out those darkest areas looking in the direction of the fur mapping out all of the different colors and 
this is how you build up the texture of the fur. Fur tends to lay in clumps, so not drawing each individual strand of hair. Looking more at the patterns that the fur makes. drawing what I see. So I've got the mid-tones down now and I can map out, I can see the patterns of the fur in the ear. So I'm going in with a few more layers, darkening up the darkest areas some more. For another layer with the paints grey. I can see in my reference photo that the right hand side of the bottom of the ear is a lot darker than the left. So this will need more layers. But still using a very light hand so that I'm able to build it up slowly. So taking my time. Colour pencils are all one of the slowest mediums. Need a little bit of patience, don't rush. And then I'm just blending over the top of those with the cold grey three, bluish tone. Filling in the mid-tones, it looks a bit disjointed at the moment. So this brings it together slightly. And softens the pencil strokes. I did notice on the reference photo, the left side of the ear has a slightly warmer tone, so the browny tones are coming through in that side, so cold on the right and warm on the left, so I'm using the warm greys. Again, building up the darkest tones, mapping out the patterns in the fur and working in clumps. in the lightest parts where the shine is. You can still see the first strokes so I'm just putting these in now just to bring it all together. And going in with another layer in the darkest parts with the Payne's Grey. At this stage, with the, these layers, I'm adding more detail. So, following my reference photo closely, going in with the warm grey on the left and the cold grey on the right. Blending those colours to make it a little bit more cohesive and softening the pencil strokes. Again, staying with that warmer tone on the left hand side, I'm using a little bit of brown. Payne's Grey. And I've noticed in the lightest parts of the shine there are still some first strokes visible, so making sure I've got those in. And then finally going in with the black polychromos to 
darken up the darkest parts. The camera here seems to tend to want to focus on my hand, not on the drawing, but I hope you can still see what's going on. the first strokes in the shine of the fur and adding some detail to the top and to the bottom. And blending those pencil strokes so that I can go on top with another layer to darken it up some more. Adding some Payne's Grey to the left hand side to just bring the two sides together. Darkening the darkest parts some more. Following those patterns in the fur. Adding some final details to the edge. going at the very end of the portrait when the dog is complete just to check the tones. It's about 90% there. Just some finishing touches, adding some darker first strokes. Adding a couple more layers and the last details. Making sure it's blended nicely. And the finished ear. I hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, it'd be great if you could like and subscribe. And also, if there's anything that you really like to know, any drawing tips that I could give you, maybe you could leave it in the comments below and I'd be happy to make a video on it in the future. Have a really great week and I look forward to seeing you next time.